Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to monitor your router's resources using Graphene. So Graphene is a tool that is used to monitor various RotOS parameters over time and put the collected data in a, in a nice graph. So some of the features um, are some of the things that Graphene display is the router board health, the resource utilization that includes CPU, memory and disusage and it also shows the traffic that is flowing through certain interfaces. And one last thing also it does monitoring of your queues and that is only simple queues. First thing that you need to do is to go to tools and select graphing and this is the general interface that you will get. So the first tab that says interface rules. If you click on the plus to add an interface, it gives you the option to choose the interface that you want to add. So you can add all your interfaces or you can choose an interface that you want to add. For now, I'm going to select all interfaces. The allow address, what this section does or what it is for, is that you can actually restrict certain persons from an address from accessing the graphing information. So when it is left at um, zeros, like what you're seeing here, what that means is that all users of on the network will be able to access the graphing information. But if you wanted to be specific, if you had an IP um, that you wanted to to restrict it to, you could say put in the IP and say, for instance, if this is the IP, you could restrict it to an IP. But I'm going to just leave it with the default rate allow for all. But in in a production environment, it's best if you restrict it because it could show certain information about your network that you don't, really don't want to disclose. So I'll select OK. The next section is Q rules. So we're going to add a queue rule and you can choose the queues. So right now I only have one queue which is called main. So I'm just going to leave all because say for instance in the future uh, I create, I, I decided to create, create more queues. Then this will automatically add those queues to the graphing. Resource rules. And this only gives you the option to choose the, the address that can access this resource. Because the resource pool is just the entire resource, like the CPU, memory, this usage. Uh, so that is what it will give you to give you the option to monitor. If you click on interface graphs, so this is a graph for your interfaces. This is a graph for your queues and this is a graph for your resource. So automatically the graphing tool identify the resources that are going to be monitored and list them here. So let us jump back to interface graph. So there are two ways of accessing the graphing information. One is you can double click on an interface and you will get this window. This window usually displays the utilization over a period of time so it is in days so it's daily utilization weekly monthly or yearly but because we have just configured um, graphing there is no data collected just yet but um, further down in the video I'm going to show you a sample of what um, the data would look like when it is collected over a period of time just the same for queues Here's your main queue and if you double click on it, it will tell you the utilization over time. Just the same, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And for resource, if you click on CPU, just the same, it will give you a breakdown of the utilization for the hard drive, which is the storage. It will give you a breakdown too and also for memory. But another way of accessing graphing is via the browser. So you can click go to your browser and you're going to enter the IP address of your router. So the IP address of my router is 88.1 um, 
but because I don't have a password on this router it automatically logs me in but I'm going to log out and on the main screen you're going to see graphing just click on it our graphs actually not graphing graphs and this will give you a breakdown of all the resources of your router that is currently being grafted so just like what we saw before where you had the CPU usage now this is presented in a, in a in a web or more friendly interface and over time these graphs will be populated with, with data that has been collected over time see so if you can go back to the main page uh, if you want to view your queues you can click on your queues and you can see the data that is passing through so it will give you the source um, address it also give you the the speed the, the queue limits so this queue is just 10 megabits up and 10 megabits down and it will also give you like the max data in and the max data out and give you also the average and also the current utilization so it, so, it, so you are able to see what is happening with um, with your router in real time and the same goes for all your interfaces you can also see similar graph and this will pop this graph even after rebooting your router the information will be still there so so let me show you so this option graph graphing settings that says store every five minutes this is a default setting what this um, option does is it writes the information that is collected to to the storage that is the internal storage so if it is flash memory or hard drive depends on the router that you are using it will write that data to the storage and you can extend it in terms of if you don't want it to be written so often but bear in mind that if if say for instance you have selected 24 hours if for any reason your router was rebooted before the 24 hours then you will lose that data that is collected so default is five minutes i normally use leave it at five minutes so every five minutes you will actually get recent information up to five minutes ago so i'm going to show you how it looks how the graphing information looks when it is fully populated oh also uh there's one main thing that you need to be aware of is that the graphing information to access the graph screen there is no password that is required to enter graphing so to access the router's configuration you will need to enter a password but for graphing you can just click on graphs and it will just carry right into graphing there is no password required so that's the main reason why you should consider um, thinking about setting the allowed address. So the address that you um, want persons to be able to access it from. So this is part of security. So you need to consider that. So I'm going to show you um, graphing on another router. All right, so this is another router that has been gathering or monitoring resources over time so if you look at CPU this is how it really looks when when the graph is populated you will see the traffic that is flowing over time you can see the average the current the max so this is how the graph looks and you have the daily weekly monthly yearly just like how we saw it in 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 this option here in this tab where we see the daily weekly monthly yearly so it's the same information that is displayed on the web so like memory utilization you can see how your memory is being used when when utilization spikes you, you will know uh, this usage just the same um, let us look at like traffic so one of these interface would have all right so like this interface you see the traffic over time on the interface 
So you see the data that is passing through over time, the peak, you can know the peak times. So this will allow you to have an idea exactly what is happening with the network and uh, you you could use this to plan plan in terms of capacity so say for instance if you are peaking out at a particular time and you want to compensate for that you'll know by looking at the the graph that is how you go about using graphing to monitor your router's resource so that's it for this tutorial and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you are not a subscriber please remember to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released. So that's it and thanks for watching.